here for round five of Works Racing brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. And today we got pro bikes taking off, tackling a fast yet technical track. Last race we had one, two, three close finish. We got a pro section, I think, like maybe a quarter of the guys walk. So let's see what happens with that and see if some guys get tangled up in there and make some passes. I feel great overall. Honestly, I've uh, been getting my butt kicked at the hard enduros, which is made riding the 450 of a heck of a lot easier. Honestly, I was riding my 300 for a couple months in a row and then hopped on the 450 and I was just like, man, this feels easy. So honestly, I feel really good. I uh, feel like my fitness is really good. The, like I said, those hard enduros are no joke and they help with the fitness and the bike skills together. So glad I'm doing that, mixing it up, comes here, you know, kind of back to my roots and it uh, makes me appreciate it. But it, like I said, it just makes it feel easy on the bike as well. My name is Robbie Goldsby. I work for Dante Oliveira on the 356 factory KTM, FMF KTM uh, race bike. So before he started with the team, he was kind of notorious being hard on the bikes. Um, he's worked himself a lot to go ahead and uh, get himself better. He's actually pretty easy on bikes um, now, and he's the one that fires himself up. I don't have to do too much to get him to win. Overall objective is to keep a KTM on the top of the box. Uh, pretty much at all times. So the fight is between Dante and Taylor and I'll just make sure we get to the end of the race without any mechanical issues so they can fight it down. Yeah, no, uh, he's uh, he's really easy on a clutch. Um, we do change him out every after every race, but it gets more frustrating when you know his potential as a rider and you're seeing him struggle and you can't physically try to get him back going again during the race to get him back up. Yeah, you know, it's definitely hard to see when they're right there with underneath the blanket within five seconds of each other and for him to fade and you know that he's trained hard and everything. Um, but it is what it is. Sometimes you have off days and you just got to uh, minimize the damage and still being on the box for having a bad day is actually a pretty good day. So you have to take those positives and learn from them. Right now, it's uh, you know, a win's kind of due for me. You know, I need to get myself on that that top spot of the podium. Um, we've been working for that, and uh, you know, I feel like I've put some really good work in this off season. Um, we're just this little bit of time off that we had from the last race that we were at. Uh, so we're we're feeling really good at this race. Um, we're up at a high altitude. We're 4,700 feet here, but I live at 4,500 feet, so it's not really a big change for me. Um, you know. Sometimes I go up to Tahoe and it's 7,000 feet, so it's a it's not really a big change for me. So I'm pretty close to what I ride at home. Um, race bike, you know, you do lose a little bit of power, but um, you know Sam does his part and makes sure that bike's as as set to this altitude as possible. You know, you're you're gonna lose it no matter what. But um, you know these bikes are really strong and they you know put out some good power. So. I'm not worried about that for this weekend. If anything, it just smooths out the bike and makes it easier to ride. Um, so, you know, that's not really a, a big problem for us here. We're, you know, feeling good after practice. Super good. The whole break from Canyon or Taft, what it was the last round, me and my brother just, uh, we made a new grass track close to our house because we knew that's what this place was going to be. It's literally all grass and just flat corners. So we put in the work on that and uh, I feel like I'm ready. This is a super unique track, super grassy and like pretty hard to find traction. So uh, I'm excited, always gonna go out there and come swinging for the win. Good, it's been, uh, I feel like it's a lot bad, better than last year. I was doing a little reflecting on that and just how I was riding and uh, yeah, I think it's been going good. I've made a lot of improvements. Um, I feel like I'm getting better at the tracks, like reading the tracks and uh, all the different terrain and learning how to open tracks up and ride different things um, differently because everything's different. So like we have sand tracks, hard packed, uh, some tighter stuff and then this is like a grass track. So uh, it's cool to be able to have so many different skills to learn and uh, get better at and I feel like I'm from last year to this year, it's been a big improvement.
see him throwing up. Yeah. I just started getting a core cramp myself. It just could be just starting to get a little dehydration. Yeah, I think so. Drink up. You got a water? I Good job, Thank you. Yeah, definitely a rough one. That track was demanding. You had to be on it the whole time. Just all those flat turns, you really had to focus on like, not giving too much gas to lose the rear and just kind of babying it almost on the insides, outsides. And yeah, but the track was awesome for a grass field. They put on a fucking amazing course. I'm stoked with it and uh, can't wait to get back to some more works racing. Yeah, no, it was um, it was a hard track to pass on. You know, I felt like I had the speed over Dante, but you know, I wasn't able to make the pass stick. So, um, you know, it, he was he was better than today. So, it, you know, it's one of those things like I'm gonna take that um, kind of this race and really learn and uh, study it. So next time I don't have that that problem. So uh, make sure we get a good start next time. And you know, I felt like the start was pretty good. We started off, you know, and gave it a good push. Um, I know I was riding good. I felt good out there, but you know, we were able. We made one mistake and lost the position to Taylor so you know it was it was a bummer to end up third and you know be starting second so we'll uh, we'll uh, work on the things we need to work on and come back next time swinging.